Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Um, first of all, let me say some good stuff or some awesome stuff is a better way to say that. Um, the other day, uh, there was a hangout that was held to help out. Uh, uh, a bunch of people wanted to help out Sean Hufford, and I was supposed to partake in that. Unfortunately, I had a family emergency I had to attend to and was not able to attend. I did contribute. I did help out. Make sure you stop over to uh, Red's channel because that's where that was held at if you want to help him out. Uh, make sure you do that. You know, he's, he's done so much for everybody and uh, on top of being a stand-up guy. Um, so head on over to Red's if you want to help out with that. It's, uh, it's pretty important. But, uh, and so my apologies, guys, for not being there. It's, uh, yeah, I just, there was a lot of stuff I had to take care of. And then yesterday I already had plans, um, <clears throat> but uh, that had nothing to do with that. Uh, I went and saw Metallica last night at, um, uh, in Munich, and it was a damn great show. But, <clears throat> while I was at Metallica... Uh, let's see, at 11, 17, 11, 10, okay, so that would be 23, at about 9 o'clock yesterday, UTC, while I was increasing my neck pain, <laughs> um, at, uh, the Metallica concert, uh, apparently this was delivered to me, and let me show you this, uh, display capture, know what it is? Oh, right screen. There we go. That's what should be there. And transition. Here we go. Now, I don't know why it says RE case subject. And I don't know if there's anything going to be actually made out of this. But <laughs> we're going to have some fun, guys. Um, apparently, according to the way this is written, uh, somebody has uh, done a privacy complaint against me. Uh, regarding this is the uh, this is the the link for the this is fe core uh, video that I just did and uh, it also links it down here in the bottom and then it gives these time frames okay which is 37 seconds to one minute uh, 1213 to 1227 1238 to 2522 uh, to 2553 and uh, what does that say okay so they got it all backwards and then 242 to 312 uh, now these are time frames the time frames uh, I, I, I had uh, I have done one one or two complaints before in the past and what it does is uh, YouTube when you're going through the complaint process um, it asks you, you know, what are the areas throughout the video that you would like to claim as having a privacy issue and, uh, or, you know, whatever other issue and you can, you can identify little blocks of time. Um, so that means that this was actually submitted by somebody, uh, not as a blanket complaint, but they actually picked out individual areas and I'm glad they did because I'll just give you the first one uh, from 37 seconds to one minute is this the usage of this screen and all the other ones similar are the all all the exact same thing it's every time that I used this slide in the video and yes I'm using this slide in this video as well let me tell you why now number one me receiving this uh, is not a strike against my channel it just is acknowledging to me that somebody has submitted a complaint uh, it is not a uh, uh, a declaration of this is exactly what's wrong you know do or die um, hold on a second here let me move this over and then that's that okay so and uh, it says, we would like to give you an opportunity to remove or edit the private information within the content reported. After 48 hours of this notice, we will review the complaint for, the poten for, for potential violations of our privacy guidelines and consider uh, restricting the content. Now, here's the thing. First of all, on the 
how to lose well. Um, the first thing is, is that um, should YouTube decide that this is uh, this is in some way uh, violating privacy of uh, uh, of YouTube uh, policies and guidelines, of course I'm going to remove the video and I am not going to take the strike against my channel. That part is obvious. Okay. However, as was just pointed out here by Farmer's Boy, um, I stated in the very beginning of the video that I was only going to be able to use because Mike Cavanaugh did not want to assist me uh, with documentation. I could only use the things that were publicly available. This is the FE Core website http colon forward slash forward slash fecore.org on the top here about us okay got all this information and then this is a public page so to whoever it is and unfortunately you don't get that information to whoever it is who decided to submit this complaint Okay, I didn't give out any names that I don't know. I didn't dox anybody's information. I didn't say, you know, this is where Bob lives or anything silly like that. You know, I mean, because honestly, I don't know. The only person I honestly, I know that, uh, uh, you know, one of them lives in, in, in Denmark and uh, one of them lives in California. All, and I think Bob lives in Colorado. But even then, I, I don't know any of that. So that's, this is not, I'm not releasing anybody's information. This is not a privacy policy. This is not a privacy act. Okay. And as a matter of fact, I didn't even say anything in here that wasn't true as far as the people that I identified. Steve Torrance does have a channel that has a video on it called Magnetic Flat Earth, which they got this spiral here from. Mike Cavanaugh. Okay. I didn't go into any of his personal stuff. I just identified him as the president of the organization and his, his quotes and his shortcomings. Okay, Bob Nodell is a part of Globusters. Bob Nodell has been and was a proponent for FE Core in uh, the Flat Earth Conferences. Bob Nodell is all over Seventh Day Truth Seekers channel. Okay, to be honest, of all the people here, those are the only three that I said anything about. Okay, I don't really know Sandor. I've seen a couple of things that people uh, have their complaints about Rick Hummer, but I didn't go into that because I don't really care. Uh, Karen B., yeah, I know that she she has no idea how to track a sunspot on the sun, but outside of that, um, didn't say anything about her. I know there's one or two videos out there that are completely destroying her uh, for her, well, anyway. And then, uh, and then Jaron, well, yeah, I got a history with Jaron, but not in this video. I didn't even mention him. Okay, so really, um, so whoever it was that submitted this complaint, all I'm going to say is, wow, that's some cowardice crap. I mean, really, that's some cowardice crap. Trying to get a hit onto my channel, okay, which I have not had a single hit in the three plus years that I've been doing this, okay. I am very respectful of people's privacy. I am very respect even, even people I don't like. I'm very respectful of your privacy. I'm very respectful of all of that. But for somebody to even try, okay, now we all know that, you know, Flat Earthers tried to, well, <laughs> they pretty much successfully kneecapped my fundraiser. So this this, this, is the, this is the kind of honesty you can expect from Flat Earthers, okay, literally. And, uh... But I got this message, and I just I just saw it maybe about half an hour ago, and I was like, well, this has to be discussed. Okay, now, again, I do not know, nor does it say, who submitted this uh, this this privacy thing. However, I do know that you can't get these you, you can't get the time frames in there by saying that somebody else is being harassed. Okay. You can only claim it when it's your stuff. And so either it's somebody uh, mimicking uh, FE Core or it's somebody, uh, what do you call it, 
somebody just uh, just just trying to be a dick okay I'm going to tell you that all of these time frames and I can bring them up all of these time frames refer to the usage of this public slide on a public website displaying only what is there as public information so I don't know like I said I don't know where this is going to go according to the rest of the message it says we would like to give you an opportunity to remove or edit, uh, remove or edit the private information with this content reported of which there is no private information that means that was the complaint that they submitted was they used the thing saying that uh, somebody's somebody's private information or somebody's privacy is being violated uh, after 48 hours of this notice we will review the complaint uh, for potential violations of our privacy guidelines and consider restricting the content again if YouTube decides to do that I'm gonna dump the video I'll probably just make a redacted version of the video and happily re-upload it okay please note uh, let's say please note that you may not need to remove uh, the content uh, entirely in order to resolve the issue YouTube offers a custom blurring tool interesting uh, which allows you to blur anything in your video uh, including individuals or information for more information on the blurring feature please visit the creator blog and help center potential violations may occur uh, in the title description or tags of your video no that's not what was identified uh, YouTube offers met, uh, metadata editing tools you can access by going to your my videos and clicking on the edit button uh, on the reported video yeah you just go in you, you you can edit your tags you know as long as the life of your video uh, we're committed to protect, protecting our users well gee so am I <clears throat> uh, let's see uh, we, yeah we're committed to protecting our users and we hope you understand uh, that the importance uh, of respecting others privacy which I do uh, when uploading videos in, in the future please remember not to post someone's personal information without their consent I have not uploaded anybody's personal information other than the information that is publicly available on the site that was being critiqued publicly available now it would be something different if it just said you know Mike Steve Karen Rick and so on and I said Mike Cavanaugh Steve Torrance Karen B you know I mean that that would be that would be uh, that would be wrong on my part however I didn't this is the information that FE core distributed this is the information that FE core has on their uh, on their public website and by the way as far as you know the qu content of my video no I still have not received the 990 and 1023 from FE core and Mike you know my email address so uh, let's see uh, we're committed to protecting our users and we hope you understand the importance of respecting others privacy uh, when uploading v videos in the future please please remember not to post someone's personal information without their consent for more information please review our privacy guidelines okay I violated nobody's privacy here okay nobody's you might not dig what I have to say about calling you guys flat earthers because you are flat earthers that's not meant to be derogatory you guys are proponents of the flat earth movement okay period I made no other reference to any of these people okay and uh, hey Mike remember the part that I said in the video that it seems like you don't have control of your organization if this was you you need to let me know if this wasn't you then you this is obviously uh, what do you call it what I was talking about about people who are acting in the name of FE core speaking in the name of FE core without uh, without your consent or okay or anything like that I know you're gonna call it off as you know other people's opinions and stuff like that these are people who are making your company look bad dude cool and no can we dox these jerk offs no I have no intent nor nor do I even really have the desire to do a thing like that okay 
this is this is basically as far as I'm concerned this is this is a YouTube discussion you know I don't I don't care about where any of these people live or any of their personal information what their their second kids name is I really don't care okay because that is irrelevant to the discussion it's irrelevant to any part of this yeah prepare for strike two for showing it again yeah well cool <laughs> Because I'm just going to say it like this. This is not being arrogant. Um, but should there be a review of this, uh, should, uh, like I said, they state right here that uh, uh, after 48 hours of this notice, we will review the complaint for potential violations on our privacy policy, privacy guidelines to consider uh, restricting the content. Now, should somebody look at this and the, the areas that were identified, all the areas that were identified were a public web page. So I don't see this as becoming a becoming an issue. However, a hey Mike, again, if this wasn't you, and if this was one of the, your other six here, you need to be asking why somebody's trying to make your company look bad because you obviously know that me posting this frame, which I did probably about six times in the throughout the video, somebody po me posting this frame is. Uh, what do you call it? Is public information. Wait, should Ranty be receiving one of those for doxing civil engineers? I d I don't know anything about the Ranty thing, man. I'm that that's just nuts. Ranty's already done enough uh, work uh, proving the globe, so um, I I I haven't even been to that side of the FE Core camp or FE Core uh, of the Flat Earth camp uh, in a while because. You know, it's not even a challenge anymore. Let's see here. They're charging ten dollars admission to watch their microwave experiment. So much for being a nonprofit. Well, they can actually do that. Um, that, as as ironic as it sounds, they can actually do that. And yes, I did see the promo for the microwave experiment. You know, because Mike Cavanaugh said that uh, microwave uh, microwaves don't refract, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I showed all that inside of this video. So I, you know, <laughs> to, to any flat earther watching this and to any flat earther who saw that the, the longer video that I did, and by the way, that video could have been about two to three hours long, but I actually truncated it just to make it a little bit more efficient in the points that I was making. Um, but I mean, when you go, when you go maybe about an inch deep into this stuff, it's unbelievable how, how much stuff is out there, um, about, you know, FE core and all this uh, let's see yes by the way anybody who wishes to do so feel free to mirror my original video uh, I would request that you don't monetize it but you know I'm not gonna track down everybody but uh, yeah feel free um, what do you call it because there's there's going to be nothing that comes out of this I'm telling you um, now like I said should YouTube somehow just blindly accept the privacy uh, uh, complaint um then like i said i will take it down myself if the if the video comes down it's because i have decided that it will come down because they give you a like a second warning shot before they do that and i will take it down myself and submit it submit a uh um um yeah and submit uh a redacted version which will just all i'm going to do is i'm just going to replace this page with uh, their YouTube faces and uh, and their YouTube names because if that's if that's violating somebody's privacy oh, that that's just gonna be hysterical let's see stringer news I ran a 501 c3 uh, we were forbidden from charging fees directly we could solicit donations but we had to uh, but they had to be optional yeah well we already know that FE Core is obviously in every way, shape, and form not a 501c. Well, they're not a 501c3 yet anyway, but they're they're uh, intent on adhering to the practices of a nonprofit organization is obviously not their intent at all. Let's see. SMD recently did SMD. I don't know who that is. Uh, recently did uh, done a video with uh, a video on him where Ranty showed. 
uh, a LinkedIn profile for some lady. Uh, would you think that he's getting such a complaint? Well, if that woman sees it, she has the right to su submit that complaint. That's the other part is, you know, you could be doxing people all day, you know, but if I'm like a, you know, it, it, if nobody sees it, obviously you're not going to get the complaint. YouTube does not do this um, just out of nowhere. Let's see. Oh, Simon Dan. I'm sorry. Yeah, SMD. Um, let's see. Is there a way that to get off uh, this off YouTube and privately share this? It's not. Uh, this is not a YouTube violation. Uh, if it's outside of YouTube, well, yeah, obviously not. Um, this isn't a YouTube violation. This is just nothing more than I have received the message that somebody submitted the complaint. So. Have you been in contact with Jesse Kozlowski lately? Uh, he has something that you might be interested in. Um, not in the past couple of days, I haven't. Um, he and I spoke offline about uh, some great airplane footage that he was working with, but uh, he was actually asking my assistance uh, in combining it together to uh, to time it together, but I was having a, I had an unfortunately terrible time doing that um, just because of one of the, the longer shots. Um, but, uh, no, I haven't heard about anything on that yet. Uh, let's see. They're not headed to be a 501c3. Yeah, well, I have also, uh, what do you call it? I have also sent an email to uh, Indiana Secretary of State, which is who signs, uh, well, whose name is signed on uh, nonprofit organization applications. Uh, I have also submitted that information, and that information uh, also includes a link to the video showing my research. So it might not just be the 501c3, uh, it could be the, uh, the nonprofit itself that's in violation of everything. Let's see. No, I think it was a public profile as well. Just something tells me that these folks are <laughs> double standing hypo hypocrites. Uh, Stanislav. Double standing, double standard hypocrites? Of course they are. And I'm... Uh, that's that that in itself is just a sentence that is just what it is have you seen the stupidity of Randy's show yesterday uh no i haven't to be honest with you zana uh or zan 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 there we go zan um the uh i have not seen uh, Randy's show i didn't even know he had a show to be honest with you um Last time I had any interaction with Ranty was uh, well, it was a while back. I don't even. I think Sean and I were talking once again about the uh, the the crane obstruction light, which he later said what well, which turned out to be a TV tower, which turned out to be a roller coaster, um, in a photograph that he himself took um, and couldn't identify even which direction he was looking. But uh, no, I I I don't have much contact with Ranty and the whole Oakley pack um, they're just a bunch of morons let's see I'm going to download the video uh, if you remove that video uh, it'll be up on my channel <laughs> all right space for everyone uh, yeah like I said again one more time this doesn't mean that my channel's in threat at the moment <laughs> Uh, all this means is that somebody fit, submitted a, a, uh, a complaint through YouTube, but when YouTube actually reads through it and then all they're going to do, they're going to see those timelines and then it's going to pull up this screen every time. And hopefully whoever the individual is who does that, um, they see, because I made sure that I had the, the full screen capture, they will see this web address and then they'll pull up this page and will be perfectly fine noting that this is not uh, this is not information that was released uh, against anybody's will uh, and if it was then they need to talk to Mike Kavanaugh the guy who's responsible for FE Core and the website even though he doesn't seem to have control over it so one more time here's this this is the actual complaint and like I said 37 seconds to one minute that was this one okay this is actually at 39 seconds and then let's just go through these oops let's just go through these real quick uh 1213 to 1227 okay so 12 
12, 13, 12, uh, 37. Looks like they might have screwed that number up. Okay, they got it here. So these are also, again, the individuals, and I made sure that when I made these cuts, I showed that this was the stuff that actually came off of the FE Core website. No changing of names, no nothing like that. The next one, let's see, is 1238, 1243. Okay, that was that was showing the actual page afterwards. 1238, okay, well, no, that's 1240 there. Okay, and then let's see, 1634 through 1640. 1634 to 1640. There's 1640 right there. Okay. Wait, wait. Back it up. Two, three, four. There we go. 1634. Okay. Same page. Unchanged. 1809 to 1821. Let's see. 1809. That's uh, 1807 right there. But it, hold on. There we go, fades into the same page. Okay. Let's see, 2522 to 2553. Okay, here it is again. Same thing. It's the same slide, <laughs> to be honest with you. It's the same capture that I used over and over again. And then they went back and they said, oh, and we forgot this one, 242 to 312. Which is, again, the same slide. Okay. So, <clears throat> like I said, if there is a uh, redacted version that comes out here, uh, I'm just looking for everybody's support of me doing the right thing according to the YouTube terms of service um, and uh, but I'm honestly really not seeing uh, now the sad part is is that I don't have the ability to head this off meaning that I you know I'm gonna reply to this but I'm sure I'm gonna get a uh, I think it's a no reply uh, type thing but uh, I am gonna reply to this actually you know what I'm gonna do that right here online reply YouTube team the time stamps stamp identified is of public information Oops. on the website of the company I am critiquing. I probably screwed that word up. Oh, I got it. Nothing. Oops. Of the information. Oops. Displayed. goes any deeper than that which the company FE core the company FE core makes openly available See the timestamps identified of the public uh, is of public information on the website of the company I was I am critiquing. Nothing of the information displayed goes get, goes any deeper than that which the company FE Core has made openly available. Standing by, Sly. So, so I sent my reply. Space comment, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't beat me up about my grammar all the time. <laughs> Let's see here. Replace them all, all with pictures of potatoes. Yeah, yeah. 
Actually, well, according to their legal guy, you know, I, I might just uh, replace them all with uh, something purple. <laughs> but, uh, no, like I said, uh, Dick, go ahead and, uh, uh, um, anybody who wants to get a potential mirror in place for this video, go right ahead. Um, and uh, you have 100% my permission for doing that. Uh, FE Core has decided, at least at this point, not yet to respond. Um, and I'm not really expecting a response because there is absolutely nothing in that video which is incorrect. Which is why I won't hear a response. The only response you'll probably hear from FE Core or any of its members is that I'm trying to get them shut down, which is partially correct. Um, but it has nothing to do with, um, me just trying to butt hurt shut them down. It has to do with the fact that they are actively, uh, participating in the distribution of propaganda, um, which goes against the, I mean, if they wanted to be their own company and doing flat earth stuff and stuff like that, hey, knock it out, man. You know, you'll find nowhere in my video did I ever say that that was a bad thing. <laughs> Stupid, but not a bad thing. But be ready to pay the taxes for it because I'm not going to have my pa my tax di uh, payer dollars going to you performing false in uh, uh, or producing false information. I'm just not going to do it. And plus, it is a violation of the very rules that you signed on a government document. So, you can take that however you want to. Yeah, or uh, Caliban, <laughs> to be honest with you, maybe it's not somebody I displayed butthole. Well, you put on here, someone, is, uh, someone you displayed as butthole, butthurt over uh, you being critical of them. It, maybe what it is, it's... <laughs> Because I spent most of my time talking about, <clears throat> well, the only three people I really talked about here were Mike, Torrance, and uh, Nodell. Maybe these four are just jealous. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, nah, yeah. <clears throat> and I got 11 dislikes, so that's probably the entire FE Core staff uh, on that video. But, uh, anyway. FE Core reported... Have Effie Core reported Jaren's anti-Semitic uh, remarks? I don't know. Uh, I remember him. Uh, I know there's still a video out there uh, with him saying that uh, Jesus can suck his dick, and I know that there is uh, there's still the video out them of saying that uh, uh, myself, Daza, and Wolfie uh, worship and uh, adore pedophiles. So, but you know. You know, that's just water under the bridge stuff. Me showing a public web page, that's a violation. So. <sighs> I'm telling you, Sly, to re re link that in a reply email. Oh, yeah, I didn't put... Wait, huh? Who, what? I think the FE Core website and the website director's page. Huh? Kind of at a loss there, uh, guys. What you got going there? No, that's right. There's also the time delay between what I'm saying and what you guys are hearing. So, now, now, can't be saying that Karen B has balls. Come on now. All right, well, that's what I got, guys. I wanted to do a quick little, oh, wait, do, do us, uh, guys, suggest link the company page with the pictures. It's absolute proof that it's in the public domain. Well, link to who? To the YouTube complaint or uh, to the bottom of the page? Because, yeah, I, I can go like this. Like that. Copy. Edit video. Oh, come on, get over there. There we go. The board members. Oh, Bard? Yeah, wow. <laughs> the board members of FE Core. Public page. 
There we go. Well, it used to be a Mennonite church. At least as that's as far as I understand it. But anyway, so a <laughs> bard members actually sounds better. <laughs> they have loots. <laughs> All right, so ladies and gents, I didn't want to make this too long, but uh, just want to make you informed. Should it actually occur that the uh, uh, that the video comes down or anything, it will be coming down because I have elected to uh, adhere to YouTube policy. Uh, should YouTube actually come at me and tell me to do so. Um, I do not, I, I don't buckle to the little threats and all this. Uh, I mean, from all the threats I've received from Flat Earth and Flat Earthers, um, this one's humorous at best. And uh, let's see here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Cool. Um, and... So this was somebody who was obviously, for some reason, thought that uh, that me displaying a public web page, okay, in the fair use rules for critique and also for identifying the people that I'm speaking about in a manner that is of public record by the people I'm speaking about. So... Um, this is the page that's in question. Um, I will also be submitting a, uh, 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 well, I'll be sending an email to Mike Cavanaugh about this to see what he has to say about it because, let's be honest, man, you know, if Mike Cavanaugh doesn't put out something about this and if he doesn't actually state something about this, it is a clear, it's the definition of him having no control over his organization. So... Anyway, I'll be writing him on that. I'm not going to do that here publicly. That's just going to be a discussion between he and I. Um, I am aware that I, uh, I posted his reply to me on something, but that was just me requesting something. The rest of our conversation is between he and I. The email addresses and stuff like that, that also remains between he and I because I do respect people's privacy. And to the punk who did this, this is... This is hysterical. It's doing nothing more than discrediting your organization. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I had for this evening. Uh, and uh, be sure to uh, let your favorite FE Core member know uh, that I put this video up. Okay? So, I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. And uh, the, uh, I mean, damn, it's only Saturday. Um... Uh, yeah, so just wanted to put out this information so everybody can have a little bit of fun with it. So let's see here, and there's that, and y'all have yourselves a nice night.